Buenos noches, jugadores del Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm your host, the RJB Zero. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! and Business Casual. So a lot of hype uh, started randomly springing up around the Yu-Gi-Oh! internet community, or maybe the other way around, the internet Yu-Gi-Oh! community, around a couple of cards supporting the, arch the Archfiend archetype uh, coming out as TCG exclusives or world premieres uh, in Shadow Specters. Uh, and I wanted to address said hype in this video and discuss why I don't actually think these cards are particularly amazing. So first we have Sinister Yori Shiro, which I, along with all the other No Need for Bushido fans out there, want to call Sinister Yori Kiro, um, which is a continuous trap card each turn. One level 5 or higher arch or fiend type monster, sorry, you normal summon can be summoned without tributing. If exactly one normal summon set or set level 5 or higher theme type monster and no other cards would be destroyed, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. Uh, and then I will read the other one, which is Archfiend Giant, who is a 2400-1600 level 6 fiend. Its effect is if this face-up card on the field would be destroyed by a card effect, you can pay 500 life points instead. This effect can only be used once while this card is face-up on the field. If this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Archfiend monster from your hand. So, Archfiend Giant, believe it or not, is the one of the two that I am more I am more convinced that it is a decent card. Because under Archfiend Palabyrinth, this card is kind of a massive boss. Yes, you do have to pay 500 to keep them on the board if you wouldn't be destroyed by card effect, but keep in mind the fact that he would have 2,900 attack points, and he could keep himself from being destroyed by card effect, which would make him a pretty difficult dude to get over. I'm still not saying that this is a particularly excellent card, but of the two that were released, this is the one that I am more interested in. Sinister Yori Shiro would be a flippin' fantastic card if it weren't for a couple of stipulations. First, the and no other cards clause that it has in its last sentence, which says basically that if your opponent mirror forces against you, if you don't only have that one normal summoner set level 5 or higher fiend-type monster in attack position, this card is useless. If your opponent torrentials and you have more than one monster on the board, even if your opponent has a monster on the board, this card would be useless. If your opponent summons a Black Rose, this card would be useless. The other stipulation I have, now that's kind of a, 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 a minor problem. The only problem I, uh, other, the other problem I have with this card is the fact that it is a trap card which means that while it is really good for putting things like Archfiend Commander and Archfiend Giant on the board, um, it's a trap card. You have to wait a turn in order to do it. It's susceptible to MST and Dust Tornado, which are now, which people are now maxing out on. Um, and the fact that in order to begin using your monsters properly, you have to wait for a turn, um, it just seems drastically subpar. Um, while it does, it does uh, increase the speed of the deck quite a bit, I suppose, except it really doesn't, because you could have just summoned your Archfiend Emperor before, and then used um, Archfiend's Roar to bring back uh, a cavalry, and then have the uh, cavalry be destroyed by Roar, and then bring back the Emperor. You were fine before. This card just makes it slightly more consistent, along with, you know, a couple tech copies of Archfiend Giant. I don't think this card changes a whole lot for the archetype. Uh, even Archfiend Commander is does not make this card any better, because Commander, in order to get his effect, needs to be Tribute Summoned, which... If you're not tributing monsters, it doesn't count as a tribute summon. So, this card, it does have a lot of hype. Um, and maybe if Archfiends had a few more big boss monsters that were actually worth waiting to get to normal summon for free, maybe even if this card was searchable through uh, Trick Archfiend or Eris or whatever her name is, it would be good. As it is, 
I'm not particularly excited about either of these cards. Um, that's just my opinion. Feel free to prove me wrong. Um, but that is my assessment of the cards that have been announced today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, let me know why. And of course, discuss in the comments below, did I miss something? Am I, you know, spot on? What more do we need to look at from the, arch from the Archfiend archetype um, in order to view the, the true potential of this card? Um, do you think that we're going to get more support that's actually going to make these cars really good? Anything like that, put it in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe for more discussions, news, and Yu-Gi-Oh! shenanigans. Meanwhile, thank you guys for watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Business Casual. I'm your host, the RJB Zero, and I got a jet. See you.